don't know if I'm even meant to create this type of content because I fucking always forget <laughs> to pull the camera around me. But anyways, so last night, great call last night inside of the coaching app. I wish you were in there to check it out, but you know, whatever, you're taking a sweet ass time and it's no big deal. You don't want help your digital marketing business. But anyways, just left the fucking gym. Uh, I go to Fit Factory pretty much every morning. It's right down the street from my house. Now on my way home to eat, um, you know, protein shake. And I'm going to make my po my first video of the day. And then I'm going to go live on TikTok. This is uh, a regular thing for me, especially Monday through Friday. Um, when we get home, we'll talk about some ideas as far as, um, you know, how to market or, or what videos I should be making. All right, back at the house. Got the protein shake. Uh, right now I am doing, doing a combination of protein right now. I got some like muscle milk protein, but the pro series, cause it has about 50 grams. I know that's a lot. Okay. That's a lot of protein, but, uh, right now I'm kind of on a high protein diet as of right now. And so that's why we're doing that. Anyways, I uh, told you guys that I would give you, uh, some ideas for content. All right. So I got to shoot my little TikTok video. What I like to do is I post a TikTok video about five minutes before I go live, right? Oh, uh, well, it, it ranges five to 10 minutes before I go live. So anyways, um, and then I go live on TikTok uh, Monday through Friday at around 9 a.m. So uh, the type of style of content that I like to make is either opinions. So opinion based, something I feel strongly about. Um, excuse me, <laughs> protein <laughs> product. Sometimes I just talk about straight up my product, right? Give a review, right? Why I chose it, why I decided to start it, all that good stuff. Excuse me, man. Protein. <laughs> no, but anyways. All right. So the third thing is my story. Obviously, we're going to teach my story. Uh, what led me to my product? What did I used to struggle with? What are my pain points? Things of that nature, because it's going to reflect back to my ideal customer. Um, then you want to talk about results. We always got to throw in results. I know these people, they want to argue about FTC, blah, 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 blah. Listen, here's my thing, man. If I'm just talking about my story and I'm just telling you my results, the way I see it is, oh, well, sue me, right? Like, I mean, I... I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like, if you're going to be mad that I'm talking about what I did, well, get the fuck out of here. All right. Um, and then last but not least, uh, tips, right? Offer some tips, tips to your former self, just tips in general, tips that uh, is probably going to help your uh, followers, your audience, things of that nature. Um, I know we're in digital marketing and a lot of times, uh, well, I'm sorry, a lot of digital marketers are like, Yo, uh, I only want to go after people that want to make money online, nine to fivers. And I'm with that too. But every now and then you got to throw in some tips. And if that is the case, then throw some tips that are going to be more beginner friendly. Like, right? Like, what were the concerns that you have? What were the ideas that you have? What were the things that was going on in your mind before you got started? Like, maybe you give a tip about the fact that you don't need a following anymore, right? Remember back in the day? Like, I don't know. You guys have been following me for some time. Um, back in the day, you used to think you had a need of following, like a strong ass fucking following in order to make money. And now you don't need that shit. And all these people that telling you do are a fucking liar, man. I know people that are making sales with just 300 fucking followers. I know people that are, you know, ha making sales with just 200 followers on Instagram. Like it's, it's all bullshit. It's a facade, right? All it, nowadays, you don't really need it if your message is good. Now, does more followers help? Hell yeah. Like, I mean, like I'm not going to be stupid and oblivious to, the fact that, yeah, more followers help, but it's not needed in order to make money. So, um, so tips like that, right? But the funny thing is, is opinions. Opinions are really good too. Anything that you can stir up controversy, you'll be surprised of how much it'll uh, generate. So anyways, uh, I got to make a TikTok video really quick. Then we're going to go live and then, you know what, I can come back to you guys. So I chose to do like a little six second video of this one, right? So what I do every morning is I, when I work out, right? I record me and, and, uh, doing like one of my sets. And then what I do is I can break that down to six seconds and then I can break it down to four seconds over there on Instagram, right? And so that way I don't really have to create other types of content. Then I just got to add the text on. And somebody was telling me just the other day, they were like, oh, you're the only one that ever explained how to actually add value. Everybody says to add value, but you're the only one that explained how to do that. So I was like, hmm, that would make a good video, right? I'm telling you, man, this is how I get my ideas. So anyways, I just made a video where I chopped me down working, uh, working out for about six seconds, added some sound, add the text. And I said, hey, everybody says to add the value. Well, no shit. How do you do that? 
this is exactly what we teach in my app and guess what it works and then i put like a um a, like a little testimonial of somebody so there you go so anyways that's my post for the day about to go live all right so now we need to start talking about uh emailing today and I don't want to show you the emails, but I generally will, uh, I have two lists, right? One for like roadmap people, uh, peeps, people that get my freebie. And then I also have uh, one for people that just don't quite uh, go all the way through with the coaching app for whatever reason, right? Um, either they got to the point where they were about to pay the 49 and then they're like, oh no, like 49 is a lot of money or something or whatever it was, or they rushed into the process. So I, I kind of will talk to both people, right? So anyways, with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and email my list. Um, as you would say, I've already done uh, an Instagram video that I also took over to TikTok. It was one of uh, so Instagram, I made it four seconds. TikTok, I made it six seconds. Uh, I went live earlier on TikTok. Uh, I've been in my uh, Instagram stories and TikTok stories that I uh, pushed over to TikTok as well. So it's pretty much uh, the you know pretty much the end of my day. I will maybe post a video a little bit later, um, and I circulate through those types of content. Remember the content that we were talking about? So opinions, story. Um, you know oh, what is it? My product, right? Things of that nature. So. Anyways, just wanted to kind of give you guys some behind the scenes of what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, what I'm doing. I got to run my mom to the doctor again today, but uh, today we are also going to do some bacon and ranch tuna and some cilantro rice to keep it active. I already had uh, my eggs and turkey. I didn't really you know, get a chance to uh, talk about that with you guys. Like I said, I'm trying to do this different type of style, like kind of like vlogging a little bit, but it's different for me because I'm not too much of a vlogger, but I'm also hoping that I can give you guys some value because that's kind of what I've always geared my channel around. And so I still want to remain for that. Look at me. I mean, as you can tell, I'm still in this shirt, right? So I haven't even taken a shower. Um, it doesn't happen like this all the time. A lot of times I will go ahead and take a shower and then I'll get to my day. But if you notice, I pretty much have gone live uh, just, I'm sending out my emails. I've knocked out everything. Oh, by the way, and I've had, you know, breakfast and a mid snack and it is not even noon yet. It's not even noon. I don't know if you got a chance to see that or whatever, but you know, like, you know, um, Apple uh, iPhones, when you're, when you're doing the camera or whatever, they don't give you an option to just flip it around or whatever. But anyways, I know you're probably thinking like, hey, Justin, if you're going to do this style of content, you might want to go get you a real camera. But mm, why? Just pull out my phone and start talking. So anyways, uh, but the other reason why I wanted to do this style, man, is one, you got to, you get to see different things in my life. But also because I don't know, man, I, I'm like, a, I hate to say this, like, I mean, it's, it's going to come off very cocky, right? But I'm a plethora of knowledge, meaning like I just. You know, I just share different things throughout the day. And for me, ultimately, what my brand is starting to go into. So actually, I'll share I'll share some stuff with you guys. OK, really quick. Um, so if a lot of you guys have been following me, you know that eventually what I was doing was I was make money online. I was a high ticket affiliate marketer, all those things. And then over time, uh, I really wanted to get into personal development. There was a couple of times where I was doing fitness on here and people weren't feeling it. They weren't feeling it. And the reason why is because uh, a good portion of these people, they don't make the connection. Well, a good portion of people out there do not make the connection, but a good portion of people, they don't want to hear about fitness, right? And they don't want to hear about that. They want to just be like, yo, I just need to pay these bills. I mean, make some money. I'll, I'll worry about the fitness later. Because most people don't really worry about the fitness part until it actually hits them that they go to a doctor and they got to like change their fitness, you know, like their health or whatever, right? Anyways, they don't make the connection that a lot of times the fitness, regardless of what you do, will just start to make you emotionally better. And when you're emotionally stable, okay, you can show up to your business a little bit differently. You're not acting out of that, that low vibrational bullshit of fear, 
and, um, and, and which then again will, you know, reflect inside of your videos, right? But when I first started doing it, people weren't feeling it. They were not feeling it. So then I was like, okay. So then I started talking about a little bit of mindset. Some people were feeling that. But then it wasn't until I put those together with digital marketing that everybody was like, yo, you're willing to teach me what you did in digital marketing to grow my business? And I'm like, yeah. So once I started doing that and I was like, but look, this is what I did. I worked on mindset. It started waking their asses up. And a lot of people have been coming around. It's been cool. I'm grateful for you guys because now y'all are allowing me in a sense to share with this other type of wisdom that most people won't hear because they're just so just, I need to make the money. I need to make the money. And I'm with you. We all need to make the money, but your money and everything is a reflection of you and who you are and what you are being, right? Which is also personal development. And a lot of times we don't have a lack of information problem. We have a lack of application. So it's best to work on you. So, um, something I got coming up, I'm going to grow this community of marketers to about 5,000 people. That's my goal. Um, uh, and that's between affiliates and everything. So even if you're an affiliate of mine, you can go off and make some money or whatever. But beyond that, I eventually want to get to an upgraded version of my coaching app where it is about how to be the high level woman or man, right? And, or the high value woman or man. And that's where we encompass everything all your knowledge, working on a better version of you. So I'm literally shape shifting to that. Like it's like, it's starting with digital marketing, making money, how to rather better your yourself and better your abilities with your business skills to while I'm also incorporating how to become a different person all around. Because at the end of the day, when you have a vision, I can almost guarantee you, you in that vision is not the same as you or who you are right now, right? Let's admit it. When, when you look at your vision, that imagination is running, that vision of you just being successful or whatever it is, you aren't the same person. I don't know what it is, but it's like you're happier, maybe even a little bit younger looking, handsomer, sexier, dressed a little bit different, confident. You're not the same individual. So don't act like you don't want to change who you are, right? And if you really think about it, we don't attract what we want. We attract what we are. So think about that. So that's the direction I'm going. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments if you like these style videos. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Hope you got some value. Let's 